Hello everyone, today we'll take a look at the best 240Hz gaming monitors in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these 240Hz gaming monitors, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which monitor are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Alienware AW2521HF – Best Budget Option The AW2521HF is an excellent gaming monitor for the price. Thanks to its 240Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time and AMD FreeSync, it ensures buttery smooth performance while its IPS panel offers vibrant colors and wide viewing angles. Its 240Hz refresh rate can't be overclocked to 280Hz, but it has a much lower input lag when playing at 60Hz. The response time on this monitor is once again exceptional, and even at 60Hz, motion is extremely smooth. Another thing to keep in mind about IPS monitors is IPS Glow, which is an expected drawback of this panel technology. The amount of visible IPS Glow varies across different units of monitors, but in all except the most extreme cases, it's completely manageable. Lastly, the backlight of the Dell AW2521HF display is flicker-free, which, along with its integrated low blue light filter, ensures a safe viewing experience for your eyes. It also supports FreeSync, and it's G-Sync compatible. Sadly, it doesn't support HDR, and it has some uniformity issues when viewing dark scenes in a dark room. However, it has great reflection handling and great peak brightness if you plan to use it in a bright room, so glare shouldn't be an issue for you. Number 4. Gigabyte Aorus FI27Q – Best for the Money If you want a monitor that has support for picture-by-picture -picture and picture-in-picture -picture modes, allowing you to display two input sources at once, then look into the Gigabyte Aorus FI27Q. Its ergonomics are a bit worse than the Asus Tough Gaming VG27AQ L1A, but overall both monitors perform very similarly. The Gigabyte has great out-of-the-box color accuracy, excellent coverage of the Adobe RGB color space used in photo editing, and excellent gray uniformity. It has very wide viewing angles, and if you choose to use it in a well-lit room, it has great peak brightness and decent reflection handling. Unfortunately, it has noticeable backlight bleed in dark scenes, but this may vary between units. It also has a bunch of gaming perks like FreeSync support, incredibly low input lag, and an amazing response time. It doesn't have a USB-C, but it does have two USB-C 3.0 inputs. What you'll be captivated by is the monitor's superb color over rivals. Not only does it cover more than 90% of DCI-P3, it does so with pro-level accuracy. Contrast, while not quite at the VA level, is better than nearly all the IPS monitors we've seen, and gaming performance, aka motion processing, is among the very best. In the crowded genre of 27-inch gaming monitors, the Gigabyte Aorus FI27Q is a top pick. Number 3. Samsung Odyssey G7 – Best Curved Monitor the G7 is a 32-inch panel with a 2560x1440 resolution, which means it has a solid amount of on-screen real estate and 92 ppi density level. Games are reasonably crisp here, but 4K panels are sharper. Samsung screen works with AMD FreeSync Premium Pro and NVIDIA G-Sync at 240Hz, which means esports games and fast-paced single-player titles run smoothly at incredible frame rates, as long as you've got a suitable graphics card. As ever, the jump from 144Hz to 240Hz is not as drastic as the leap from 60 to 144Hz, but the move to 240Hz remains noticeable and advantageous for high-end competition. The G7 has front-facing RGB LEDs, a stylish metal stand, and more RGB LEDs around the rear. It has 120mm of height adjustment alongside tilt, swivel, and pivot options, which is a superb slate of adjustability for a 32-inch curved screen, and build quality is excellent. Happily, these levels of quality were all maintained when we reduced the G7's brightness to a more conventional setting. Samsung has done fantastic things with the next generation of VA panel technology, even if the Odyssey G7 doesn't hit all the right marks. VA is absolutely back as a contender for high-end gaming displays, and we're excited to see where this goes. Number 2 LG 27 GN 750 – Best for Most People If you want to save some money, then check out the LG 27 GN 750B. 
The LG also has an excellent response time at 60Hz, so fast-moving content looks smooth and crisp. It's an even better choice for gaming in bright rooms thanks to its great peak brightness and very good reflection handling. On the design front, LG is sticking with the same tried-and-true formula used in the Ultra Gear line for the last few years. We like it from a visual standpoint, it's not the most premium construction as what you're getting is mostly plastic, but the simplistic black aesthetic with a few red highlights looks fine. It also has an IPS panel with wide viewing angles, but sadly that comes at the cost of its low contrast ratio, so it's not a good choice for darkroom gaming. It has a few extra features such as the ability to add a virtual crosshair on the screen, and there's a USB hub so you can charge your devices while gaming. The LG 27 GN 750 provides performance just one step behind the best TNs on the market right now, easily delivering 4 milliseconds response times on average, with this particular model being capable of those speeds across the entire refresh range. You can even push it faster than that at the top end, which gives a clear and responsive 240Hz experience. Number 1. Samsung Odyssey G9 – Best Ultra-Wide Monitor the Samsung Odyssey G9 is a gaming monitor that almost has it all. Superb image quality, it's feature-packed with the latest immersive 1000R curve and all the technology you'd need for modern high-end gaming. The popularity of ultra-wide gaming and professional monitors has reached fever pitch, and now after releasing the Samsung CHG90 gaming monitor, the company has once again released the ultimate super-duper ultra-wide gaming monitor to rule them all. The Samsung Odyssey G9 is a sprawling 49-inch gaming monitor with a not-so-common 32 to 9 aspect ratio that will embrace you in its curved display. When it comes to performance, the Samsung Odyssey G9 is a top-tier screen for pro gaming. It rocks a generous 5120 x 1440 resolution that delivers a density level of 109 ppi, which is simply good for gaming. Only 4K screens will be sharper. When gaming, the G9 maintains impressive results with the brightness reduced to a more conventional level, but color uniformity is excellent, and a backlight strength deviation of just 11% on an ultra-wide 49-inch screen is tremendous. All said, there are plenty of situations where a 32 to 9 screen works extremely well, and the Samsung Odyssey G9 is the best option on the market. Buying Guide Price Screen size, panel technology, and features will determine how much you'll pay for a gaming monitor. You can snag a 24-inch model that uses TN technology with a fast grey-to-grey -gray pixel response for around $170, but you won't get much in the way of features. Expect to pay more if you want perks like an adjustable stand, a USB hub, multiple digital video inputs, and either G-Sync or FreeSync technology. A full-blown 27-inch model with all the bells and whistles, including 3D and either G-Sync or FreeSync support, can cost upward of $600, and a 30-inch UHD monitor will run you between $2,400 and $3,500. Anti-glare filters The brightness of electronic screens has been a concern of many device users for quite some time. After all, what else can one attribute the proliferation of dark modes in web browsers, mobile apps, and overall device display systems to? Glare filters designed for use with computer monitors are the perfect tool for alleviating any hazards that arise from working with high-resolution, high-brightness screens in office environments that are themselves quite bright, even if you opt for LED lighting as opposed to incandescent or fluorescent. Size Monitor size is measured diagonally, usually in inches. A handful of monitors smaller than 20 inches are available, but most are between 21 and 30 inches across. Larger monitors provide more workspace for complex programs with lots of on-screen menus such as photo editors and spreadsheets, so if you're an average user, aim for a monitor no smaller than 21 inches.